in conjunction with my desire to make interviews with artists of conscience and originality in the age of fission. And I'm going to try and synopsize the age of fission very succinctly and why certain people would qualify to be true artists in the age of fission and others can be discarded. And I'm going to reference through history, throughout history. And I'm going to reference art and people that have expressed themselves, uh, brilliant people, people of genius, understanding, intelligence, supreme intelligence and insight. And I'm going to now express why this age, what I will now call the age of fission, no longer the Stone Age or the Iron Age, the Bronze Age, the Enlightenment even, the Industrial Age obviously, very close to our hearts people. We are, we are the uh, progenitors of the Industrial Age. Where are we now? In the age of fission. We have, we have mutated into the age of fission. And uh, what I'm going to say about the age of fission the way many philosophers have attempted to identify the essence of the age that they're in, like Sartre or Voltaire, Iron in the Soul, the trilogy that Sartre wrote, identifying the essence, the quality of the age. And here's what I'm going to say, the age of fission. In uh, 10, 20, 50, 100 years, when this will, when if, if, yes, there is an if because you have understood, if you have listened to my YouTubes, I believe this to be an extinction level event. The age of fission is not the same as it was 100, 200, or even 70 years ago. We have entered a new age. And the new age of, uh, that we are now experiencing is an age of fission, which has directly, directly, it is a direct result of inventiveness, genius, intelligence, giving us the most destructive lethal elements found in the universe to biological matter, obviously. If you go to the sun, you don't care. I like uh, The sun is fusion. The sun is fusion. I'm not sure if people understand the difference. Fusion and fission are two different things. Both are lethal to biological matter, but fission is something that was man-made. It's an invention by man, mankind. And what I'm going to just synopsize in what I believe to be the age of fission. What will distinguish the age of fission? Is it the complete, total destruction of biological matter on this planet called the Earth? Or is it the revolution in our psyches, a complete reversal in our psyches from the past? And I'm not disparaging the brilliant minds that have existed before us, but remember what I'm saying now, the brilliant minds. I'm really not interested in the brilliant minds anymore. I have said this, I'm not interested in the art of the past as an example of our brilliance in terms of our minds, in terms of what we're capable of doing. We are capable of extraordinary, extraordinary things. We are incredible, we are children of imagination. We are the children of the juice of life. We are, we are the progenitors of possibilities. We are ultimate possibility. And where are we going with this possibility? And I'm going to now synopsize the age of fission. The age of fission. I have termed this the way I have termed Fukushima to be Fukushima, the version of Krishna let loose finally finally on humanity, not as an analogy, an allegory, but as a physical, a physical form. The four-armed God predicted by the Bhagavad Gita, unleashed on us physically, physically through Fukushima, Chernobyl and all the other plants which potentially could become the most, has already become the most lethal event in the history of uh, biological life on the planet, our doing. The age of fission, synopsized. What if we are able to survive through 
this incredible challenge. And again, no one is addressing this challenge on the ground with boots, with fixing Fukushima. Fukushima is allowed to spew all its garbage. The age of fission will be remembered as the most lethal toxic event to all of biological life on the planet with the exception, with the exception that our minds transitioned into the most powerful phenomenon known to humankind, I don't know about other life forms, but known to humankind as an example of humanity, I will say to you now, the definitive, the definitive label that will, that will be applied to the age of fission will be humanity began to care. Humanity began to care. People began to care. People began to truly love their children. The age of fission, if we get through this, will transcend all previous, as I have said in my interviews, all previous accomplishments will be eclipsed through caring. And the art, for me, the art can be the delivery system for this concept, for this reality. We need to become part of the age of fission, not from the side of the toxicity, but from the side of the enlightenment, which is the caring. And the enlightenment is not intellect, is not the experience of genius as we have through the history, through the great minds, whether they're scientists, philosophers, painters, musicians, who all, by the way, accomplished their great challenge to overcome through that fundamental feeling of caring. But now in the age of fission, it has to be, this feeling needs to be exploited to its full potential. Because without this, we're sunk. We're sunk. That's what I'm saying. We are sunk without understanding that the age of fission is going to be an age of caring. If we are able to overcome this enormous epic challenge of what I call an extinction level event, it will be remembered be not because we were so brilliant in our discoveries, the iPods, the apples, the speed with which we can communicate, the internet and all those things, they will be footnotes to what we actually accomplish as human beings and that is to become once more when we were prehistoric, before Namur and Akhenaten and all these, all these subversive elements in our psyches that have destroyed our psyche, we will become, we will become what we're truly capable of, which is caring. If you eliminate all other human attributes, the one thing you want to be left with is exactly this. In the age of fission, we transcended, we mutated from a version of this biological form that actually accepted the true spirit of being human, which is to be caring. And let me say this very clearly. Once this becomes integral to our being, the potential, the potential in us, beyond any kind of formulation that is considered to be religious or spiritual and all this kind of clap crap shit and crap that's being pro propagated as religious spirituality, we have no clue what we are capable of, and religion is the last to let us know what we're capable of, but the artist is the closest, the closest to revealing what we are capable of. Just look at art history. Just look at the fucking brilliance in art history which comes out of this source, that primeval, that primary source, that primeval source, that source that is 
connected as in this to survival, but more importantly, once we have integrated ourselves into this feeling of caring, during the age of fission will be the most magnificent age and lead to whatever age is over a thousand years, if we get through this. And we are now challenged incredibly to get in touch with this. We need to love our children and we need to care, we need to take care of this monster, this toxic boil, all the toxic boils sitting on top of our planet called nuclear plants and get rid of them and find a way to remove the toxicity because our souls are being completely polluted by this. Our souls, the radiation is an example of the hate and the anger. We need to eliminate this through our caring. That is the age of fission.